Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So now Drake also threw shots at Kanye. Now Kanye. Not even 24 hours ago, stated that he was going to bless us all with a verbal sabbatical. Said he wasn't going to say shit else. He was just going to take a verbal break from Twitter. I said, okay, Kanye, that might be a good thing. Just, you know, go, go, go to sleep. Take a nap. Come back next week. Child, he woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is wrong with Kanye? You're not even supposed to be here right now, buddy. So Kanye came back this morning child i don't know what elon musk gonna do so he he had a lot of things to get off his chest this morning so we're gonna go through what kanye had to get off his chest <laughs> this picture of kanye always cracks me up <laughs> so kanye comes out of nowhere and he retweets daylight so daylight says i'm starting to think that anti-semitic means the n-word so then kanye retweets I'm starting to think that anti-Semitic means the N-word, but he wrote it all out. When I tell you that was on Twitter for all of nine minutes, I happened to catch that screenshot. That was on Twitter for all of nine minutes. Elon Musk's team, they snatched it down so quick. When you went to click on it, it said, tweet removed. I said, well, damn. I said, they're, they're watching Kanye shit. So they took it down, but I got the screenshot. Then uh, people start confronting him about the whole Drake thing because Drake had another line in his song where he went in at Kanye. Um, and so this is a picture from last year with Drake and Jay Prince. So Drake says in the lyric, he says, Lincoln with the ops, bitch. I did that for Jay Prince. And that's also in the same song, uh, Sirocco Loco. Now, if you guys remember around that time, when him and Kanye linked up, it was when they were trying to do this whole free Larry Hoover movement. They wanted to get Larry Hoover out of prison. And so Kanye had been kind of blasting Drake and, you know, throwing shots at Drake and insinuating that Drake may have, um, you know, like slept with Kim. It was like all types of little rumors out there. And so Jay Prince stepped in and he made them come together like, you know, like a high school principal. Y'all stand together and take this picture. We're going to dent this beef. And now, a year later, or two years almost, Drake is saying that he linked with the ops, bitch. He did it for Jay Prince. So now somebody tweets this. They said, oh, hell, at Kanye, tell this man you made him. So then Kanye says, enough already. I done gave this man his, his flowers multiple times. Let's really see who the real ops are in the music game. Imagine all the rappers on the same side and everyone cleaning up each other's contracts. It's kingdom time. Love Drake. Love hashtag love speech. Okay. Then he goes on to quote Charleston White. Now I know Charleston White got to be gassed because he is like the one of the biggest Kanye fans, honey. And you got Kanye West playing a Charleston White uh, clip. And so Kanye West writes, this is what's happening. Keep whooping him in front of all these slaves. This is this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one. He gonna stand up to us, and we all sit there and watch. And you keep whooping him in front of all these slaves. This is this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one. He gonna stand up to us, and we all sit there and watch. Okay, and then that's <laughs> that's Elon Musk right now. I don't care what nobody says. That is Elon Musk just watching Twitter just burn. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Y'all know I got to put in that last slide, child. So it, it's crazy. Now, let me say this. I find it interesting that Drake is speaking on Kanye. 
I think that line, and this is just my opinion, no disrespect, was a dog whistle. I think that line was a dog whistle to draw the line in the sand. Because remember, on the Drink Champs interview, Drunk Champs, um, Kanye was just talking and talking and talking. And he stopped and he gave Drake like all this love and, oh, he's the goat. He's a better rapper than me. And right. So he spoke so highly of Drake on Drunk Champs. And so then after that, now we have Drake dropping that line. To me, that is a dog whistle because Drake is, of course, you know, he's half Jewish. His mother's Jewish. And I think he put that line out there to show the record execs and other people that Kanye's the op. Now, can I be mad at Drake? No, because he's half Jewish. Like that is his ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's his religion or whatever. So of course, but he, he's doing it in a subtle way. He doesn't want to lose the black folks either, right? He does, because if he came out and just really went in on Kanye, like you dissed the Jewish community, you got life messed up. When I see you, you gonna get stuck up. Look at me try to rap, right? Let's just say he did that, right? If he just went in on Kanye on behalf of, you know, half of his community, it would, you know, have a lot of the other rappers side-eyeing him. Like, okay, well, any other time you're, you know, you're Black Drake, what's this? So I think that was kind of like a dog whistle to kind of show, like, understand you are op. You're dissing and disrespecting my people. I don't know. That's how I'm, uh, y'all like my rap? <laughs> I got bars. <laughs> I, I felt like that's what that was. Like, he's drawing a line in the sand and he's telling them, you know, he's dropping his little Easter eggs that I don't care he said I'm the GOAT and I'm a good rapper, I don't stand with his anti-Semitism. Hence why he called him the Ops and put it on Jay Prince like, yeah, Jay Prince made us meet. It wasn't because I'm genuinely a fan of Kanye or that I genuinely want a relationship with Ye. So yeah, that's exactly what I, what I got from that. And like Kanye said, I've given this man his flowers time and time again. How about we come together and talk about these contracts? Well, he's not ready for that conversation. He's just going to call you an op, get his bag, and keep it moving, okay? So, yeah, Drake is on, you know, he's on the road, honey. Look, somebody said, Deja says, T, you're on to something. Thank you so much, Deja. Yeah, um, Drake is definitely, he's drawn a line in the sand. And he's letting his peoples know. And I'm not mad because, like I said, he's he's a biracial man. And that's why I always say that it is okay to call people what they are. There's nothing wrong with being multiple ethnicities. There's nothing wrong with being biracial. And sometimes when you are biracial, you you have to pick a side. You have, you have to, you know what I'm saying, do what's right. So I believe that's what that was. But he said it in a way where it's, you know, edible for black folks using words like op. But the people that he's talking to, they're going to get the message that I don't F with Ye. I don't care what Ye says. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he gives me props. This is where I stand. So that was a dog whistle. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.